Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric Surf 6 and it's time for another Vending Machines food adventure. Check it out. We're starting this one off with a bang. Insects. That's right. Insects as food. Got a bunch of interesting things here. Giant cricket cookie. We've got the phoenix worms. We've got the cicadas. Got mixed bugs over here. Oh boy. Got rice crackers with bugs inside them. Oh goodness. Giant water bugs, the zebra, tarantula, scorpions, hello, bamboo worms, oh, crickets, oh, rhino beetles, oh goodness. It's early in the morning. I'm not sure this is the right machine to do first thing off. Ooh, that looks appetizing. Hmm? Worms, anybody? All right, let's get busy. Let's get this over with. <laughs> I've never had the cicada before. Yeah. Yep, cicada, cicada. In Japanese, it's called semi. 800 yen. Comes in a can. Here we go. Here's a close up. I have a feeling this is gonna be a crunchy one. Let's do the, the Giant cricket cookie is calling me. I mean, it's a cookie. How bad can it be, right? That's gotta be good. Cricket cookie for $9.50. Oh yeah, this is a wonderful visual. Those look totally appetizing. Look at that, you get four of them. Woo Sweet. It looks more like a cockroach. Uh, get some. And let's do one more. One more and we'll be done. We don't want to overdo it on the bugs. The king of the bugs is the scorpion. Got to do a scorpion. Okay. The armor tail scorpion for 900. This one comes in a little bleed pack. It's from Thailand. Okay. All right, I'm into it. I wonder how many you get in there. It's probably just one. <laughs> All right, just going for a stroll in the park. Got the swan boats over here. Where's the vending machines at? Here we go, there's a couple over there. There's one there, oh yeah. Score. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, this one sells the Nabe Hot Pots. A bit pricey, 20, 30 bucks for all your own hot pot. But, uh, Seafood. Yep, so the restaurant is bringing it to you here on the street. They're all available. Hmm. It serves two to four people, so... Uh, hot pot, do we do it? Nah. She's getting them all set up for us here. Oh, yeah. What is this? Oh, my goodness. This machine sells... The hot chili pepper snacks. Oh, goodness. I've got some little translations here. Something spicy was collected. How to feel the pain is each person. Please never use it in play. It's spicy and I'll feel ill after I eat, etc. It's self-responsibility. Good luck. I love the translations. Very spicy, the way we're a spicy one. Weak and the child, please be careful. Huh? Okay, so you can get the guy with the skull. This one looks the best, the death sauce. That's some happy packaging. Yeah, got the witch's brew there. So they're like rice cracker snacks. Now you can see the ones inside here. Yeah. Okay. So he's apologizing in advance for it being so spicy. He's, he's giving you the deep 
bow. That's, that's a bad sign in Japan. You, you're going to regret it. Look at that. She's got it nicely set up here. Goes around and around and oh. Bread in a can. That's bizarre. It looks good though. Looks like sweet rolls, huh? It's interesting. They're calling it the pan can, the bread can. Canned bread. And there's even takoyaki. Wow. Interesting. Takoyaki bread. Huh? Nice. Beautiful shop. Of course, all the drinks. But yeah, so the location reveal, Inagashira Park in Tokyo. It's at Kichijoji Station. So there's three types here. You got the strawberry, you got blueberry, and down here is orange, orange bread. I kind of wanted the, uh, the caramel or the chocolate, which they're showing in the picture, but it's not available. Let's do, I don't know, the strawberry. I like that can. And it says for emergency for snacks. So it's got a long shelf life. You can keep these for probably 10 years or something. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what the shelf life is. Is there a date on it? Yeah, there is a date on the bottom here. The date is 2026. Well, it's only three years. Hmm. Three years. I don't think I'm gonna wait that long. I'm gonna eat it really soon in this video. Yeah, let's go over here. Let's get our heat on with this machine. The death sauce snacks, that's the one. Death sauce rice snacks for 350. Scoville, 1,600,000. <laughs> Ooh, it's good. Dun, 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 dun. Can you smell the heat? Nope, don't smell anything. Interesting how it comes in a can, huh? <laughs> oh. Lovely packaging. Keep out, keep out. I'm gonna get right in there. Yeah. Gonna have some pain and suffering today, yes. We got bugs, we got super, super spicy snacks, and we'll sweeten it up with the strawberry bread. We found a new bank collection, if you will, of vending machines. There's six machines. Oh, this is a vending machines jackpot. So this is machine number one. They got them numbered. <laughs> So this one, definitely the tebasaki. Yeah, chicken on a stick, chicken wings. That's good, it's good. Gotta do that. And this one, you just push the button right here. It's pretty simple. All right, coming down, you can hear it rolling down. What it looks like. Ooh, fancy packaging, I like that. Okay, machine number two. This one sells beef, meat, sliced meat, ready to go. Gyutan, that sounds good, beef tongue. Love that stuff. Let's do that. Beef tongue. Beef, ah. Will it take another bill? Yes. This one. There it is, the beef tongue, 75 grams. 
Moving on, machine number three. This one sells rice balls wrapped in tea leaves, it looks like. And what, Okonomiyaki's? Negi? That looks good. There's a squid mix one. I like the onion one. It's like a Japanese savory pancake for 600. Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it. Here's what it looks like. Savory pancake comes with mayonnaise too. See the mayonnaise in there? And some bonita flakes to put on top. So far so good. What's next? Machine number four. They've got the sweet potatoes there from Yamagata. And what is this? Some kind of dessert in a can? Sweet potatoes in a can. It's a sweet potato parfait. Okay, that's a first. Why not, huh? You can do one of each. Purple or yellow? We'll do the purple. Okay, it's a can inside a box with different layers in the can. It looks interesting. Very interesting. Machine number five. Oh, they've got cake in the shape of almost to be rice balls. That's pretty awesome. I guess it's an Osaka thing. Strawberry and chocolate set or strawberry cheesecake set. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's get the strawberry and the cheesecake. You get two for a thousand. Number five. Do they look like, oh, they look exactly like Onigiri rice balls. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's cute. My last machine, number six, we gotta buy from this one, number six. Ooh, this is extravagant. Looks like also desserts in a can, huh? Different varieties, mostly strawberries here. What's up here? Something different. Let's do something different from strawberries. But that one's calling me for 1100. Okay. Okay. Last one. got the good design award for 2022 how about that and there it is a can inside a package okay that's fancy all right all right so we are ready to feast here i'm being joined by mega 6200 and he's my younger son for those of you who don't know what do we have? A lot of things. A lot of things. Let's start with the kanpai, shall we? All right. Ready? Crack them. Cheers, Cheers and beers. Cheers and milk. Oh, yeah. That's refreshing. Okay, so where are we going to start tonight? So, something with hot, I would say, would be good. Let's try the gyutan. Good choice. All right. Gyutan, which is beef tongue. Very popular in Japan, right? Beef yeah. tongue. Okay, these are pretty big pieces. You get three pieces only. <laughs> it looked like it was a lot bigger, like you'd get a lot more <laughs> in the package. And we cut these pieces up. Let's cut these a little bit, shall we? Yeah. Okay. These look like big pieces. Because beef tongue is tough. Put too much in your mouth. You're going to be chewing it for days. Okay. That's probably about right. But quality beef tongue is very tender. So, all right, that should do it. Lemon, yes? Yes. As opposed to sauce, lemon goes well with beef tongue. That's a nice wedge of lemon, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, and let's do it. Oh, it's pretty thick, isn't it? It's thick. Pretty thick. Mmm, nice. That is delicious. What do you think? Do you like beef tongue? I love beef tongue. <laughs> there you go. 
Definitely tender. I've had it before where it's really tough. Like you really chew on it like it's an eraser and it doesn't break down. This is good. This is high grade stuff. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna, it's tender. I'm gonna have another piece. And juicy. Oh yeah. Mm. It is juicy. It's juicy. Mm hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's all the lemon. But there's there's juices inside of the meat yeah. for sure. Yeah, that is flavorful. Okay, well, moving on. Let's do this right here, the chicken wings. We're going to go for the hot items. Let's go for it. Chicken wings. Finger foods. The chicken's also nice and tender, isn't it? Yeah. And juicy. <laughs> it's a uh, salt and pepper flavor. Basically pretty simple. All right. Yeah. So no barbecue sauce. Really juicy. Oh my gosh, this is better. I'm diving in for another one. Oh yeah. Right, what do you think? It's so good. We're two for two. Woohoo! Moving on, it's your choice. The okonomiyaki? That was one of the Japanese words that was hardest for me to learn. Okonomiyaki. So many syllables. Yep. But you can just call it a Japanese pancake. That works too. Right. Yeah. But it's not a sweet pancake. It's a... What? It's more like a dinner pancake. <laughs> yeah, so good job cutting it up, Maga. We should go to an okonomiyaki restaurant sometime and show the people at home how you actually cook it, right? Yeah. From the vending machine, it's already pre-cooked, of course. You just heat it up when you get home, so. All right, nice preparation. Let's get in for it. Let's do it. A little on the dry side. What flavor is the okonomiyaki? What type, what's inside besides onions? What can you taste? I taste most of the onions. Mostly onions, okay, yeah. that's what I'm getting too. It's good. It's just a bit on the dry side. Not juicy like the last meats that we had. Yeah. That's good though. I mean, that's what it is, a Japanese pancake. Maybe because we ate the two really juicy meats first that just does taste a bit yeah. dry. Could be, if we had this first, maybe it'd be different. Yeah, could be, not sure. It's good though, I like it. And the toppings are excellent. Moving on, this is the last hot dish. Beautiful, colorful Chinese dumpling. I think they're the soup dumplings. I'm not exactly sure, right? What color are you gonna go for? I'll go for green. I'm going for orange. And the question is, do they squirt? A little bit. You get soup in yours? Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit, not too much. Oh, mine's got some spice. Mine too. Yeah, wow. Yeah, definitely the Chinese style. So what color did you have? You had the orange one? I had the orange. Okay. So, okay, I'll try the orange one next. Green one definitely had some spice too. The orange one's like a curry almost. Yeah. Yeah. So they are different, right? The green one is different. Orange one or red one's the hottest. Yeah. It's good. All right, the chef's salad looks lonely over there. Mushrooms, berry tomatoes or tomatoes. And some shredded cheese, it looks like. And dressing, don't forget the dressing. Oh, look at that. Mm hmm What do you think? It's a good salad. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shall we take a little break? What do you think? We've got some interesting stuff. Challenge items, I guess we could call it. And some really, really interesting desserts. Did you prepare anything for cool stuff this evening? Yeah. What do you got? I got this. Oh, it's a, that's a gum in Japan, isn't it? So we're going to choose some gum for the uh, intermission? It's actually a pencil case. A pencil case? Huh. Well, I happen to prepare a pencil case myself for this evening. Mine is a sleeping bag. For those of you who don't know, in Japan, pencil cases are all the rage with students. Yeah. And it's <laughs> elementary school all the way up to universities and even, what, company people, right? You have your own pencil case. They're, just, they're super, super creative, basically. Yeah. You can buy a pencil case in any shape, form, and, I mean, there's literally thousands, right? There's so many types. So I was thinking I would do a, 
project with my students and take pictures of their pencil cases and do a little contest and have you guys vote and then give prizes to the students that had the best ones. Let me know if you think it's a cool idea because I see so many awesome pencil cases and they always change them. They're always new. Yeah. Okay, so the question is, what's in your pencil case? A pencil. Okay, a pencil. <laughs> it's a pencil case. I've got my pencil in mine. This is from the, the pencil trick. Got to keep it alive, the pencil trick video. That's this one. You know, can you do it? You know, once you start like this, thumbs at the top, take the pencil to the bottom, and bring the pencil back up to the top. Can you do it? Oh, Mega can do it. Anything else in your pencil case? Eraser and Pikachu. You got a Pikachu figurine. Well, because you play Pokemon Go, right? Yeah. Okay, and in mine, I've also got a bunch of coinage, small coins for our card game later on this evening after dinner. We do that sometimes. You got coins? I got right? coins too. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that was cool stuff. <laughs> And I lost a coin on the ground somewhere. Uh, we'll <laughs> leave that for the chef. Let me show you the functionality here of my pencil case. Yeah, just like that. And when you get really cold, you tie yourself up like that and stay extra warm. And this is the inside. That's a big pencil case. One pencil, is that all you need for studying? Yeah. That's it, huh? That's enough. Round two. Action. And we're gonna start on your side. Okay. This is kaki no tane. It's this sauce flavored. Okay, so snacks. They're like kind of like potato chips, would you say? It's weird how it comes in a can, but <laughs> it came out of a vending machine, so it's tooled for cans. All right, that's that legit. Like so it's the Death Sauce brand. And that's what they look like. Sometimes these are served with peanuts too, right? But there's a glaze on them, and that's where the spice comes in. All right, ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. It's getting hot. Not that hot. It's getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next, let's do the bread right away. Get the okay. bread. We got some sweet bread in a can. It's called pankan. Pankan. Pan. Bread is pan in Japanese. Spanish too, it's pan. Keep this around for three years. It's kind of emergency foods, I guess they're calling it. Oh, it looks like a cinnamon roll, doesn't it? Yeah. The smell? It smells like strawberry. Strawberry? Okay. Pretty dense, huh? Yeah. Smells very sweet. Not bad. I mean, for being in a can. It's right? pretty good. Right? It's moist. And heavy. Like, there's a lot of weight there. Decent. It's decent. Scorpion. What do you have? It says... I got the cicada. Cicada. Cicada, cicada, says food from Thailand. And I, I don't know how many you get in each pack. There's three cicadas. Careful. Oh! <sighs> okay, so here's the cicadas. <laughs> and the scorpion is, it's dismembered. It's just, it's, that's sad. It's in pieces. Ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. They're very light. It's actually not bad. It's bad. <laughs> What I could flavor is that? Yeah, I mean, it's, there's not a whole lot of flavor. I mean, they're dried, right? Yeah, it's like dried shrimp. Okay, yeah, kind of. So, like, the guts are all gone. It doesn't, like, it's not gushy. Yeah. Yeah, not like that. All right, you got a choice. You can eat one more of the cicadas, or you can eat this dismembered, <laughs> really sad-looking... <laughs> this is... How can they even call this a scorpion? It's uh, sad, huh? Things aren't cheap either. It's five, six bucks for the scorpion, I think. We can put it, kind of piece it together. All right, what you gonna do? The scorpion. Scorpion, okay. Ready? Oh. Dry and buggy. Oh. The scorpion smells bad. Smells bad. How about some giant cricket cookies, right? <laughs> cookies, they gotta smell good, right? All right, I like the presentation with these guys. 
crickets right in the middle of each cookie. Cheers and crickets. It's a chocolate cookie. And the uh, the cricket gives it a bit of crunch. It's better than cicada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the cookie just gives it a nice sweetness. And the cricket gives it a bit of crunch. Good. No? It's wait. Good. Wait. It smells. There's a little bit of aftertaste. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Anybody at home want to try one of these? Who wants to bug out on a cricket cookie? No? Yes? Okay, we'll save them for you. I'm gonna come by and pick one up. These are solid. Rice crackers are solid in Japan, aren't they? Yeah. Can you break it in half? Yes. Or quarters, whatever. Rice crackers. A very popular treat. Call these a treat in Japan? Snack? Snack? Snack, healthy snack, savory snack. Mmm. That's wholesome. So salty and there's a sweetness. And number two, I thought it was spicy at first when I saw it in the machine, but it's mentaiko, right? Yeah. Fish roll. Spicy fish roll. Cod. Cod roll. Which one do you like better? I like the mentaiko. I do too. It's got more of an adult flavor. Kids could eat the, uh, the plum one. Yeah. This one, it's got some bit of heat. And it's very crunchy. They're both really crunchy. Yeah. You got to try rice crackers. Introducing dessert time. We've got four desserts here. We'll start out with the rice balls. For dessert? What's up with that? They're called omusubi cake. Mine is uh, strawberry. Mine is cheesecake. Do you want cheesecake or strawberry? Which one do you prefer? I prefer strawberry. Okay. Then I will do the cheesecake. All right, so you open them up. Carefully. Mine's like a crepe. Yours is too. It's cake wrapped in a crepe. Here you go. I've seen this machine around. Mine tastes like strawberries. What yours taste like? Strawberry. I'm not tasting any cheesecake at all. Oh, okay, a little bit. It's like strawberry though. Actually, this one is sweet potato. Sweet potato and cream. And is that nuts? Yeah. And this one? This one is a cake and okay. strawberry. Let's pop them. Pop them. Oh, you had a fail there, yeah. huh? Is that, what is that, strawberry again? It's, Do you know? It's strawberry. Okay. That's legit sweet potato right there. Sweet potato. Taste? Cream? Mmm. This is good. And yours in layers, too? Mine's in layers. This one is not, not in so much layers. Here. And then there's nuts, and then there's white, what do you call it? Fresh cream on the bottom. Rice Krispies in the middle. This one's really good. This one, not so good. Chocolate's good, chocolate mousse. This is better. Okay, so there's another one in the can. We finished it, in the can. Literally, everything is in a can tonight. How do you feel about tonight's meal? Where do you think you're gonna rate it, Mega? I'm gonna go three. <laughs> He's going three. Okay, three out of six. <laughs> That's a little bit on the bottom of the scale. That's a <laughs> meh. So meh. What is it that uh, was the most meh to you? The scorpion. The scorpion, yeah. The scorpion was kind of a disappointment, really. We wanted the, to see the shape of the scorpion. But the meat in the beginning was good, right? The, yeah. the, the, the beef tongue was good. Okonomiyaki so-so. The chicken was good. Um, yeah, bugs. Eh, I didn't like the cicadas at all. Tarantula would be good. The machine also had a tarantula of 2,500 yen. No way. <laughs> um, so today I will go four out of six. I'm going to give it a gnome. I enjoyed it. And I like the novelty of the bugs. On occasion. Because that machine is around. There's quite a few of those machines actually. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and joining us for this evening. Drop a comment down below if you liked it. Give the video a like if you, if you liked it. <laughs> I don't know. And we shall see you in the next one. Eric and Mega out of here.